Hi friends, this is my first night for uh, three nights in a row, so come and join me, join me on my first night and I'll show you how, what it looks like. So I walk around 7 p.m. and it's still bright outside. We are now here at work. Come join me on my 12 hour shift. Starting from here, we need to wear our mask. This is how you wear your mask. After handover, if there are no urgent matter to be done, we start by checking each patient's observation or the vital signs. Then settle patient to start resting or sleeping because patients normally don't get enough sleep due to a lot of things happening during the day. We give medication depends on the time previously given. For example, the order is for twice a day, that means should be given every 12 hours apart, or if it's three times a day, it should have eight hours apart, and so on. Regular medication are given on a so-called bedtime medication, which is around 2200 or 10 p.m. Medication could be on a tablet, liquid, or intravenous form, and also IV fluids to run continuously if it is prescribed. A lot of intravenous medication is timed to be given during the night shift. And also, you have to be keen in calling and chasing doctors because they don't normally have a ward doctor during the night only on calls. Documentation is also an essential part of night shift. We still do nurses notes, complete form needed to be completed, and refill forms that will be used for the next day. This is important to help the next shift. Updating in the track care or in which system you use is essential for each patient's file. In the NHS, which I know is we use track care. How about in your department? What system do you use?
During the night, we clean up, restock medical supplies, count and check controlled drugs, check the crash cart if it is complete, unused, and up to date. These are just general things we do during night, but more are done in detail. It depends which case you are handling. On this night, I was doing my mandatory e-learning for my appraisal in the NHS. Appraisal do happen before or during month of April. So all trainings must be up to date if you want those numbers to go up. If you know what I mean, we end up by handing over on the day team, which is happening around half past seven to eight. So we finish our first night and we go home, have a shower, sleep, and then back on tonight for second night. I hope you had a good shift. See you later. Bye. It is break time. So during night sh shift, we have this spare room where we, uh, where we can have our break. So during night shift, we do have one hour break. I'm on my one hour break. So before I go for a rest, I was thinking to chat with you guys and some thoughts, some things that I wish I knew when, when I was new here. Maybe for some, they already knew about the well, abbreviation used here in the UK but I'm just sharing this uh, s some abbreviations that I wish I understood when I was starting because when I was starting during handover I was like what is what are they talking about so I don't know what talk means I don't know D2A I don't know TED means so I'll just be sharing with you. It is my second night already. I showed you yesterday. I I showed you yesterday my first night. And before I continue my rest, my one hour break, I'll get my hand over and see what are the words not commonly used outside UK. Disclaimer, I don't know if this is just used here in the UK, but I worked before in Dubai and in Libya and the Philippines and we don't normally use this view. So for those who are new nurses starting here in the UK, uh, this might help. This might be uh, informative to you. We got TTOs. TTOs means to take out this means are the medication patient will be taking home or taking out when they will be discharged another one is TEDS they say put on the TEDS TEDS patient is on TEDS what is TEDS like what what is TEDS this is just to prevent any DVD because prolonged patient who stays here we should encourage them to put TED stockings on thromboembolus deterrent that's what it stands for so if you hear them saying TEDs T-E-D-S that's me that's just mean the stocking patient should be wearing the stocking so I still have five minutes to spare what other words MFFD maybe you know this but for me when I came I didn't know this it stands for medically fit for discharge so as the word says patient is already medically fit for discharge but they usually just simply write there MFFD NWB means if you see in the notes NWB non weight bearing meaning the patient cannot use her legs whichever legs both legs one leg not to put any weight on that leg 
you can also see in the notes uh, F WB which is full weight bearing which means uh, he or she can use the legs with the weight full weight ah you can also see a01 which means assistance of one or assistance of two it means patient needs uh, someone how many one or two with him or her to be able to mobilize or if it ne need some um, if the patient needs some help I like that sorry about my face this is my second night so, and then I don't usually put anything when put any makeup when I go to work. This is my bare face. What else? They... I hope this is informative. I hope I give, I'm sharing more information to you guys. Because these are the bits that I wish someone told me or I wish I had an idea before I started working but anyways eventually through time through days that you are working you will learn about this so in here they normally use the word MRCP wherein it means an MRI magnetic resonance imaging so in here they like to use MRCP but Maybe in your previous country, you normally use that. Oh, last page. Uh, POC, package of care. This means a package of care. This is usually done by occupational therapist, wherein they will assess the patient after being discharged. Do they need a package of care? How are they going to stay at home? Those bits. D2A discharge to assess like you will see D letter D number 2 and then A D2A this means that we cannot discharge patient until they are able to assess him or his house how he'll be able to um, live or cope at home this is special for those people who live alone. They need to assess how they will they be able to cope at home after being discharged from the hospital. Trial without catheter. Talk, T-W-O-C. Or if you hear them say, talk the patient for talk in the morning to be talked. So meaning you have to remove the catheter of the patient and then wait until they are able to pass three times that's the standard here three good amount of passing of water oh passing of water that means passing of urine that's how they say it passing of water so it's easier for the locals to understand did you pass water how are you passing water Passing water all right. <laughs> there you go. I'll now go back to rest and if this is if this was informative, please do like, comment, and then subscribe to my channel. Please. <laughs> and then we'll be doing more informative videos like this. Right? Ciao! Let's enjoy our rest and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.